Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the universe, the celestial bodies that orbit our planets, and the stories they hold? Let's dive into one such story, the tale of Callisto. This celestial body is no ordinary moon, it's Jupiter's second largest and the third largest in our solar system. A marvel in the cosmos, dwarfed only by Ganymede and Titan. Our journey to understanding Callisto began with a man named Galileo Galilei. In the early 17th century, armed with a rudimentary telescope, Galileo gazed towards the heavens and spotted something remarkable. Amidst the twinkling stars and the vast emptiness of space, he found Callisto, a discovery that would forever change our understanding of our solar system. This moon, a silent spectator to the cosmic ballet for billions of years, holds secrets we are yet to fully comprehend. From its icy surface to its crater-marked terrain, each feature tells a story, a cosmic tale waiting to be unraveled. Callisto, an enigma wrapped in the darkness of space, was first discovered by Galileo Galilei, a name that echoes through the corridors of scientific exploration. Imagine taking 17 days to complete a single day, that's the reality for Callisto. This colossal moon, the third largest in our solar system, and Jupiter's proud second, embarks on a lengthy 17-day tour around its parent planet. A slow dance in the grand cosmic ballet if you will. Now let's talk about the weather or rather the temperature. Callisto is no tropical paradise, far from it. This icy moon experiences frigid temperatures that would make even the hardiest of adventurers quiver. We're talking about a bone-chilling negative 220 degrees Celsius, folks. That's colder than the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. It's a harsh and inhospitable world where only the boldest of probes dare to venture. In the cold, dark expanse of space, Callisto orbits Jupiter, a silent sentinel enduring temperatures beyond our earthly comprehension. The surface of Callisto is a storyteller, a silent witness to billions of years of celestial history. Its rugged face, marked by countless craters and multi-ringed structures, bears the scars of a past defined by cosmic collisions. Each crater, each ring, is an echo of a distant asteroid impact, a testament to the Moon's enduring presence in our solar system. These impact zones are not just scars, they are also highlights that punctuate Callisto's otherwise dark and frozen surface. The bright areas, a stark contrast against the Moon's darker terrain, are the aftermath of these asteroid impacts. They are, in essence, the Moon's own way of marking time, of recording the ebb and flow of celestial events. What's fascinating is, unlike many other moons and planets, Callisto's surface doesn't change. It doesn't have volcanoes reshaping its landscape or tectonic activity carving out new features. It's a static tableau, frozen in time, where some of the impact craters could be over 4 billion years old. This lack of change, this constancy, is part of what makes Callisto so intriguing. It's like a time capsule preserving a snapshot of the solar system's history for us to explore and understand. Callisto's surface, a canvas of craters and multi-ringed structures, tells a tale of resilience and survival in the vastness of space. Callisto stands as a testament to the unchanging nature of our universe. As we delve into the world of this fascinating celestial body, we find a sense of permanence rarely seen elsewhere. Callisto is often referred to as a dead moon, a term that can seem a tad morose until you understand its meaning. Callisto's dead status doesn't come from a lack of life but rather a lack of geological activity. This means that unlike Earth or even our own moon, Callisto does not have any volcanoes or tectonic activity. There is no reshaping, no renewing of the landscape happening on this icy orb. The surface of Callisto is a still portrait frozen in the canvas of time. The marks of the past remain etched into Callisto's surface, undisturbed and untouched. The impact craters that dot its terrain are time capsules. Each crater tells a story, a story of an asteroid impact that happened eons ago. These craters are the bright areas we see when we observe Callisto, each one a beacon shining light on the moon's unchanging past. In a universe of constant movement and evolution, Callisto stands still, a silent observer of the cosmic dance happening around it. This is what makes Callisto, the dead moon, so intriguing. Callisto, the dead moon, a world frozen in time offers us a glimpse into the past, a past that is as unchanging as the moon itself.